So on the 26th of March we actually had the Air Max Day and alongside a few other models we also had a brand new being released in a couple of colors. So in today's video guys we're gonna have a look at this brand new release which is called the Air Max DN. guys and welcome back for a brand new review if you are new to the channel please consider subscribing and also giving me a like it to really help out the channel you can also give me a follow on instagram and tiktok to see exactly what i'm gonna review in the next few days in today's video guys we're gonna have a look at a brand new air max being released on the market so let's go ahead and take them out of the box which unfortunately will come in one of the regular boxes in this red color which will just have this uh, nike air and also the nike sushi in this white color here on top so this is something quite basic so let's just go ahead and take them out so in today's video guys we're gonna have a look at uh, one of the colors available for the Air Max DN and this one will be the all night one. I need to admit that in the last couple of years the Air Max models didn't look as good until I saw actually this one in the last couple of weeks and according to their website it seems that this DN stands from Dynamic but to be honest even though we're gonna have four chambers of air these ones will actually be connected between them so in the end I'm not entirely sure how these ones are independent chambers so in my opinion, I think that in a way it's a, like a false advertisement. Nevertheless, I need to admit that the overall look for this pair of shoes, it's much improved uh, comparing with the past releases. And given that the retail price for this one, it's gonna be as the previous two years releases, I can say that I'm okay with it. And given that we have other Air Maxes which are retailing higher than this one, I feel that at least for now this one it's actually a very interesting drop so this one besides this uh, colorway dropped in a few other uh, on the nike website for the retail price of 155 pounds or 160 us dollars and for sure uh, this one has, has uh, a minimal branding but also quite uh, basic materials but in the end i would say that for 155 pounds this is actually quite decent so let's go ahead and also do a breakdown of this one guys so as you can see for this upper we're gonna have as a base layer this uh, micro mesh in this uh, black color which on top will have a lot of this uh, rubberized material in this uh, gray color which actually feels uh, quite grippy uh, we're also gonna have a very small nike swoosh here on top of the tobo section and then on top of this micro mesh we're gonna have a few overlays one of it will be this uh, rubberized one which will cover as a mudguard i would say then we're also gonna have this uh, plastic uh, material which will cover the front part of the tobo section then in the midfoot we're also gonna have this uh, i would say small cage made out of this uh, tpu which will also house this uh, carbon looking like uh, material in this uh, purple and pink color which will also have on top this Nike Sush in this uh, orange color and we're also gonna have this plastic TPU here at the heel section with the same uh, carbon looking uh, material but this one also have this Air Max DN logo as in for the actual lacing system uh, we're gonna have these loops we're also gonna have at the top some uh, plastic eyelets as well and for this one I'm not entirely sure if it's gonna be the case for Nike releases as well as this one I actually got it from a uh, foot locker so for this one I actually got all together uh, three pairs of laces so these ones came actually laced with a normal pair of black laces but I decided to put this uh, which are actually reflective and we're also gonna have another pair of pink ones as well so for sure it's nice to have with three options all together so underneath these laces guys we're gonna have a very well padded tongue in this black color 
which it seems that it will have some extra padding uh, in between the laces which for sure feels uh, to sit quite nice on top of your foot and also at the top of this uh, tongue we're gonna have this uh, Air Max uh, hologram which looks uh, quite nice then going inside of the shoe guys for this one we're gonna have a black lining which underneath will have a decent amount of padding nothing too much and also at the bottom we're gonna have this Dura Pontex uh, foam insole in this black color which actually feels uh, quite uh, soft and this one will also have this Air Max DN imprint uh, here at the heel section so now guys we can go to this foam midsole which uh, feels quite squishy which will come in this uh, gray color this one actually feels uh, quite low here at the front of the shoe but at the heel section of course this one will be much higher as we're also gonna have this uh, dynamic air sole unit which Nike is saying that uh, it has more PSI at the back and uh, less at the front and uh, depending on how much pressure you're gonna put on the back ones uh, it will move uh, towards the front but uh, I guess you really need to have a lot of weight to feel this as at least for me I really didn't feel that but nevertheless uh, this is the, th the first time where we are actually seeing so many bubbles which for sure is looking quite nice but I would say that at least comparing with other past releases this one seems to feel such a bit squishier and a bit more comfortable so now guys we can finish with this uh, rubber outsole in this uh, black and the pink uh, colorway which uh, seems to have um, this uh, waffle pattern uh, here at the front we're also gonna have this EVA exposed in a few places as well then uh, here in the midfoot we're also gonna have this Nike swoosh alongside with this uh, carbon fiber looking uh, material and here at the heel section we're gonna have this bubble exposed um, in this uh, semi-translucent pink material and here at the back of the shoe covering the whole heel section this one at least in my opinion feels like a snowmobile from the back so for sure i feel that the design for this one is looking quite nice as in for the actual sizing guys for this one i decided to go with a half size down as i actually went in store to try them out and for me it fits me just fine but i would say that for people with normal feet you can just stick with your true to size and just in case you have white feet guys most definitely i would suggest you to go with at least a half size up just to make sure that this one is not gonna be too tight for you so overall guys this brand new release coming from nike for this air max dn which stands for dynamic in my opinion it's looking much better than previous releases so for sure i find that the design was improved uh, not a lot but uh, enough to just uh, make it look better i would also say that the level of comfort also uh, got improved uh, slightly as well but nothing too drastic i really feel that uh, nike it's not uh, improving too much in the last couple of years uh, in my opinion i just feel that they are actually rebranding uh, few of their other models uh, but given that the price uh, didn't change at all at least comparing with the previous year's release I would say that this one should be okay and in case you are not a big fan of this uh, color we guys at least uh, on the Nike website we have another three or four other color combinations and from what I saw more are on the way as well but overall I would say that this one it's not a bad drop at all I really feel that the overall uh, design and also level of comfort got improved uh, slightly but for sure it's not gonna be as they advertise it so yeah guys this was my unboxing and reviewing of this brand new release coming from nike for this air max dn i really hope you've enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to press the like button maybe also subscribe to the channel you can also give me a follow on instagram and tiktok to see exactly what i'm gonna review in the next few days of course if you want to have a look at any of my other reviews you can choose from any of the videos which you have now on the screen and as always i will see you in my next one thanks for watching